to remove the key from a Peugeot or Citroen key fob. Here's a brand new one I got online. Here's my original. I've seen a lot of videos that advocate knocking out the roll pin, but there's a much easier way to do it. So if we take a brand new key fob here, Use a butter knife, get it open, pry the case off. As a tip, it's best to have the key open as you do that, otherwise it'll spring out. You can see the mechanism here. These two little pins, I'll just zoom in. These two little pins engage in the top of the housing. So once you've taken the housing off, It'll just fling out. Now, if I turn this key around, you can see there's the roll pin. A lot of people advocate just knocking that out. You can do it, but I feel like it's probably a waste of time. If you turn your key around back in, you can align, I don't know if you can see in there, keyway in the key. To get that out, all I need to do, take my pliers, push down, get on there, push down, twist, let it up. And this will spring out because it's spring loaded. You can just pull that whole piece out. There's the top cap. You can see it's slightly keyed. We've got a spring. There'll probably be a bit of grease on the bottom. And then we've got another key piece in here. You can see that it meshes with the little push button. To get it out, just take my needle nose pliers, poke them in there. And you can twist it either way. So I'm going to twist it back around until you can see down in there, there's a little tab on it. So once that's come all the way around, you'll be able to get it to come up. And it will just come out. If you've got an older key, it might be a little bit jammed in there. You can see the only thing that holds this in is, if it will focus on it, that one little tab. Now our key is free to slide out. So I'll just show you in the side there. Zoom in. I don't know if you can see. You can see the shape of the keyway. You can see there's a little tiny ledge on the bottom. Um, find something to break with. See, there's a little tiny ledge on the bottom, so we need to come down and then across. Get the lining in there, see where it stops. And you can see underneath, that's where the notch on this main key goes. Anyway, but then you've got your key out, no need for roll pins and hammers and things, and re reseating the roll pin or drilling anything out like a lot of other videos advocate. Once you've got that out, you're free to swap it over to your new key. And putting it back together is the reverse of assembly, uh, disassembly. So you slide your key in, make sure you've got your two little keyways lined up there. Take this, line that key up, break it down in there, found nettle nose pliers, perfect size. Come in, just rotate that back around. Just note, you don't want to go too far. You'll see on this right edge. If I go too far around, and I knock it down, I can go too far, and then we won't be able to get this back in. So this is a little bit fiddly. So just twist it back to the right position. 
make sure that's seated all the way in. Sorry. There we go. So it should go in right down low like that. And then, yeah, like I was saying, you can turn it too far. It's in there like that. Now, and as you can see, in the top of the little button, there's a notch which needs to hook onto that. And there's a corresponding one in the base of the key in there, in the plastic. So that'll be the end with the um, grease. I did find on my other key that I needed to really shove this up in there to make sure it was seated properly. Otherwise, this was just spinning when I went to tighten it up. So make sure that's in there properly. And come down here. Line that one back up. Okay. And you'll see the way I want it to go is so that if I were to push it straight down, it would go back in. Because we need to give it a full 360 degree twist. Take your pliers. Make sure you use these nodules to push down on and grab for the torque. And because our key wants to spring out, we need to turn the other way to load up the spring so that when we let it go, it will spring back that way. So push down against those nodules, grab them nice and tight. Rotate that all the way around till it lines up again. And this is where we get a bit fiddly. Just make sure it goes in. Sure it's all in there, that seems good. There we go. And it's back in, you'll see. These are locked back in place. Just zoom back out for you here. That's it. Good as new.